echamos de debe al mundo. Cosa fa. El egoísmo. Pope Francis asked for forgiveness during an emotional encounter with Rohingya Muslim refugees in Bangladesh. Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you for joining us for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby, in for Lauren Ashburn. The Holy Father is on the second and final leg of a historic trip to South Asia. He started out in Myanmar before arriving in Bangladesh. Today, Francis ordained 16 priests during an outdoor mass in the capital city. <laughs> An estimated 100,000 people gathered in Dhaka Park for the service. The Holy Father also traded his Pope mobile for a rickshaw. He waved to crowds from one of the back seats of one of Bangladesh's typical bicycle pulled carts. Edward okay. Pinton with EWTN's National Catholic Register is traveling with the Pope. He joins us now from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Edward, the Holy Father's voice was trembling with emotion when he spoke. Tell us about the mood and the Rohingya's reaction. Well, why the, the, the uh, meeting actually started off very uh, jubilantly. It was a, me a, a meeting of interfaith leaders, uh, but then it got on to the Rohingyas, and of course things got very emotional. The Pope uh, uh, met 16 of them, um, they beforehand they spoke to us and they were saying, you know, uh, we, we want him to, to call us by our name. Uh, we, we were, we're very grateful that he could meet us, but he want, we want this uh, issue drawn to the world's attention. Um, and then it all got very emotional and uh, a, lot, a, couple of, uh, a couple of them were crying. Um, Cardinal uh, de, de Rosario of Dhaka gave a, a long embrace of one of them. Um, but it was, it was really uh, what was to be expected really after waiting for so long to meet the Holy Father. Such incredible the kind of emotions. The United Nations says the Rohingya have fled a campaign of ethnic cleansing by Myanmar's military. So do you think the Pope's words and visit will have an impact on their situation? Well, he said in his speech today that there's very little that uh, he can do, that the church can do, but they have a place in our hearts. And uh, I think in that sense of praying for them, uh, that's what the church can do. But I think in terms of impact, global impact dipl diplomatically, I think it, it might have um, because the Pope went, of course, to Burma beforehand and came here. And in Burma, that's where it all began, the, the, the attacks on the Rohingya. Um, and they, he was well received there and very well received here. So we'll just have to see, I think, whether there is a positive impact for, on their behalf. Sure. You know, we don't often hear the Pope speak in English, but he did today at Mass. Do you know why? Uh, yes, he sometimes does that, Wyatt, uh, especially, of course, when it's an English-speaking country, which this is. It's not the, the main language, of course. It's Bengali, but they do speak English here. And I think he wanted to to uh, really get into contact with them by, by speaking a language that they know. Um, most of it was in Italian, though, but he did switch to English. And, of course, it was very important uh, for the, for the uh, 16 new priests who he ordained today. Sure. Well, the Pope will spend one more day in Bangladesh, a country with a minuscule, very small Catholic population. What's on his agenda? Right. Tomorrow he's going to meet a uh, house of Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa uh, is going to be devoted really the whole day to, to the Catholic Church. Um, he'll then uh, have a meeting with priests, uh, religious and seminarians. He'll then visit the parish cemetery and visit an ancient church, the Holy Rosary Church in the city. Um, and then he'll have a meeting with uh, youth uh, at a Catholic college here, uh, which is really um, uh, sort of uh, indicative of the, the great impact and work that the Catholic Church does here, even though they're only number 700,000 out of 160 million. Uh, but they do a lot in terms of education and health care and, and other things. Sure. Well, I know a lot of people around the world have been praying for the Pope's trip to South Asia, and it's nice to hear that he is having an impact. Edward Pinton with the National Catholic Register, thanks so much for talking with us. Thanks, Wyatt.